Hey guys, what's up? It's Bro Stalin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Zom Mod Pack and Too Many Items on Minecraft 1.7. This is the latest version, and uh, this is going to be the same as any other version that uh, has been installed, but just in case for some of you guys who don't have it installed that version before or something, here's going to be a tutorial. Um, also, I'll show you how to install HD Texture Packs just in case you need to install one. You do need to do that before you start. So, open up MC Patcher. I'll have a link for that in the description, hopefully. And we open that up. This has to be before you install any mods before you can do this. And click Patch. So, we'll let that do its thing. And it should finish fairly fast. So, that's simple, guys. Uh, now you can install HD Texture Packs. So, now that that's uh, done, let's install too many items, first of all. So when we open the folder, it's inside the .zip, we'll see we have a bunch of classes. So let's go to our Minecraft bin, and that's located in Username, Library, Application Support, Minecraft bin. For Windows, it's you go to Run, Percent, App Data, Percent, and then you go to .minecraft bin. And for Windows, you open your Minecraft with WinRAR or 7-zip, whichever one you prefer. But for Mac, you have to do it a little bit different. So compress your minecraft.jar and let's rename it to minecraft uh, backup and you can either keep that in there but I'm just going to drag that to my desktop just in case so unzip the compress that and let's delete that since we don't need it anymore and we're going to rename that to minecraft.jar make sure to add the dot jar and then when I ask you to add the extension you click add so let's open that up because now we can access all the class files much easier. Um, so let's arrange by kind. That's for all personal preference. I just like to keep it clean because by kind you can see all your folders first. That way you won't have to scroll down and try and find the rest. So for too many items, it's a very simple way to do it. Highlight it all. Command C, con copy, and then go here and let's just paste and make sure to replace anything that you need to replace alright and too many items is installed guys so let's go to minecraft just to show you that everything is working fine so far oh. and uh, one second guys I do have to redownload minecraft alright guys I am back and I got minecraft again so I'm gonna open this up just to show you that too many items is up and working and it does take a little bit to log in but as you can see, we get the Mojang screen and no block screen. So mo that tells us too many items working. So let's unzip on mod pack. I already have that unzipped, and we'll find our classes and our config, just like before. So let's go back to our username, library, application support, Minecraft, and for Windows, percent app data dot Minecraft and bin. Open up our Minecraft .jar again, and let's open up the classes here. So, once again, we're going to select them all, Command C or Copy, and go here and Command V or Paste. Those are now installed. But my Zombie Mod Pack is not done. You must open the config file now. And in your Minecraft folder, your raw Minecraft folder, you make a new folder called Mods. In that, make another new folder called Zomb. Be careful with the spelling. It's not Zombie, it's Z O M B E. No I. And also, it is lowercase, so make sure not to capitalize that. Open that up, and we'll drag and drop all these into there. Easy as that. So what we're going to need to do now is, in our config.txt, we enable any uh, every mod that we want to enable. But for, for me, I only want fly mod, because that's the only mod I use. So we're just going to uncomment on the mod we don't want to use. Let's say if I want to enable craft mod, I would just uncomment there. Uh, where it says mo uh, mod whatever enabled and then we'll just toggle this to personal preference um, I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I'm done guys alright guys my config is ready and um, this is how you do it you just basically change the letters to whatever you want to change them to and it's that simple so when we're done we'll just save exit out exit out and we'll open up our minecraft once again and log in here Let's go full screen. Just hope it's uh this right here is kinda to help accelerate games because uh lately I have been lagging bad. So as you can see the beta 1.7 added pistons. 
Uh, TNT can only be triggered by fire or a redstone ignition. Fences can finally be stacked. Added shears. And shears, what shears are is they let you get wool from sheep without hurting them, and they also let you pick up leaf blocks. To make those, it's just um, an iron ingot, two iron ingots diagonal from each other. Oops, sorry guys. And, sorry, um, my Minecraft is being kind of weird right now. It's not letting me log in a couple times, so let me pause the video real quick and come back when it finally works. Alright guys, sorry, my Minecraft finally loaded. And let's go into single player just so I can show you guys the mods. And hopefully it won't take too long to build the level, but, you know, my computer isn't the best at the moment. Let's go full screen here. So it might take us a little bit, and why is it doing this? <laughs> um, hopefully it'll fix up as soon as it's done building the terrain. And here we go. You guys see you push O. Oh, push O here. I got fly mod. And uh, single player commands is not up and enabled yet guys, so that's why it is not um that's why it's not that's why it's not in this video, but as soon as it gets updated I will make a video on how to install that. Um too many items I believe for some reason is making you go and install it twice. So what we're gonna do here guys is let's go back to our library application sport Minecraft. Bin open that up and wherever too many items are, let's make sure that we let's drag and drop them this time and apply to all replace. So it has I have been doing that lately, I don't know why, but it has and I guess you have to put up with it until it stops doing it or at least that's what's happening for my Minecraft. You guys might work fine the very first time, which hopefully that does happen. Um, but if not you know what to do. All you have to do is just do the class files over again, and it should be that easy. So, let me fix my Minecraft real quick, guys, and I will come back when it is done. Alright, guys, back again, and let's play now. Let's see if our 20 items decided to work, and yes, it did, guys. So let's go full screen here and show you, and um, let me show you guys the new features in Minecraft 1.7. So let's see if we can find the pistons here, guys. Uh, and here we go. Here's a piston. And I'm not exactly sure what this is. But here's a piston, guys. So pretty sure we need some redstone and some uh, levers here. So let's do this with this wood block here. Let's put some redstone. I don't know, just make it a little bit fancy, and so you see that you see that guys that right there. Um, let's get a sticky piston, and I'll show you guys the exact same thing, but with a sticky piston. So, but with the sticky piston, oh, whoops, I did mess up on this. Sorry, I put it the wrong way. So let's make the redstone go. There we go. And does it work? No, it doesn't. Alright, let's just make the redstone go back here. Alright, sorry guys, I keep messing up. Uh, right. And let's put the wood log there. And this sticky piston pushes as well as pulls, which I think is pretty cool because, I mean, that was just a great update for Notch to add because it, was, it just can add so much to the game. You can make trap doors. You can already make trap doors, but I'm talking about like trap uh, room. Like there's a room there, you don't see it, and then just do opens, closes. So that's really cool. And to make this, it is. Let me get a crafting bench here. Um, huh, sorry guys, I'm not used to the new too many items. So I don't know all the new IDs. Alright, so here we have a crafting bench, and what it is, we need wooden planks, we need iron, we need redstone, which we already have. So we put, uh, I think one redstone here. Uh, wood there, we need cobble. And then one iron ingot here. And we got a piston. So we have one piston here. Which I just made, so let's put that there. And if we get one, if we get a slime ball, 
put that there, put that there, we get a stick piston. Which are these right there, which make the object stick, which makes it be able to push and pull, and also very helpful. So guys, um, that's it for this tutorial. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe guys, and let me know what you think. Alright, this is Professor Stalin, and peace out guys.